Alright, greetings DPC fans, it's Unclear Rito here, I'm a dog today, apparently, that's pretty cool. So today, before we get into the video, um, I'm doing a small giveaway for this game, Face Rig, or it's not really a game, it's sort of a camera overlay, and it allows you to be dog, cat, female or male character, you can be a dragon, or even a burger, it was pretty interesting. So, if you want to enter the giveaway, you must be subscribed to my channel, and just comment down below, Face Rig, please. The software is pretty cool, I'll link the Steam description down below so you can click on that and have a look and see if you want to enter. If you do, awesome, if you don't, even better, just leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Now getting into it, now the big topic of discussion today in the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball world, forums, Reddit, Twitter, everywhere, is the fact that Broly is making a return. Now this is a pretty interesting development. There's been a few posts from Akira Toriyama himself. There's been some stuff on Reddit and stuff on Twitter regarding this. Now, there's no solid confirmation of what he actually looks like yet, whether he looks like the pictures you see above from the movies from 1993 to 1994. But we'll soon find out. He could even be the snippets we've seen of the character Goku fights in the glacier from the past. So, we don't know. It should be pretty interesting. But moving along, we have the Akira Toriyama little blurb here from Twitter and it reads everyone are you familiar with Broly he's an incredibly strong Saiyan who only appeared in the old anime movies and I apparently at least drew the designs for him but I have practically no involvement with the anime at the time so I had totally forgotten about the story content <laughs> that's that's typical character I'm just forgetting characters so about Broly I hear these days he's still very popular not only in Japan but also overseas he, yeah Based on that, my editor suggested we have Broly appear in the next movie. I went ahead and watched the movies from back then, and I felt it to be quite interesting once I got right to work trying my hand at a story that incorporates him into the Dragon Ball Super series. While keeping in mind Broly's classic image so fondly in the more fascinating Broly, naturally you'll get to see fierce combat, but also an encounter between Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. It also involves the Freezer Force and a history of the Saiyans, which end up having a major connection to everything. The story content turns out to be very large scale and dramatic. Here comes the almighty Saiyan Broly. I'm also including lots of other content you fans will enjoy, so I look forward to it, and be patient a while longer for it all to come together. So, pretty interesting stuff from Kiri Toriyama there. They came straight from Tony Animation's Twitter feed. No edits, it looks like it's a rough translation. I don't know if there's stuff missing, because that's what usually happens in translations, things do get lost. But I believe it's interesting that he incorporates Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, and the Freezer Force, and the History of Saiyans, all sort of in one little paragraph there. Because I don't believe the guy Goku fights is Broly on that ice cap, I believe that's the legendary Saiyan from the past. I believe Broly comes into it in another way. But I also don't believe they're going to bring Broly the same way they did in the original movie, the legendary Super Saiyan, because that story seemed really far-fetched even back then, and even more so now you think about it. I hadn't seen Goku for 20-something years. He is crying in a crib 20 years ago, and he remembers that, and then that sends into a blinding rage that wants him to destroy and kill everyone. Now, Broly's a pretty formidable foe. Back then it took the power of four Saiyans and a Namekian to kill him. So, he's he's pretty strong. He's not quite God-tier, so Super Saiyan Blue versus Broly from the past. From the movies, uh, Super Saiyan Blue would win, hands down. K.O. Ken Super Saiyan Blue would stomp him out. And, you know, Royal Blue or Ultra Instinct would actually wipe the floor with him. So it'll be interesting to see how he incorporates these sort of into it. And especially with Vegito being prominent now and, you know, a transformation that's there. I would like to see Gogeta make a return from the movie series to actual canon content. Because being a super extended video this is going to be canon these characters should be canon so it'd be pretty interesting now my thoughts on bringing broly into it he is one of the sort of villains that got a lot of a lot of love back in the day but never really expanded on him he just was a raging berserker guy who just wanted to kill anyone that looked like goku now as interesting as that is it has no depth the reason Freezer and Cell were so loved was because the characters had depth, they had some character development and some story behind them. And it'd be cool to see Freezer 
actually playing a more vital role in this. Now he had a pretty big vital role in the Tournament of Power from Dragon Ball Super, and I've linked the episode 131's breakdown that I did a while back um, down below there, so if you want to check out what I thought of episode 131, that's down there. But it'd be interesting to see after Goku and Frieza working together, um, how they tie into this. Are they going to be bitter rivals again, or are they going to be absolutely sort of, uh, you do your thing, I'll do my thing, don't cross paths, or we will have to fight again? Or will the history of the Saiyans be Frieza's way of trying to connect with Goku and Vegeta? Do you think that he's going to be like, well, these Saiyans, they saved my universe, and as evil as I am, I want to know where they came from, so I can learn how to kill them. Or learn, learn where they came from, so I have a better understanding of something that I am fighting, and a newfound respect. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a respect thing, or just he wants to kill people? Or do you think he doesn't even want to know the history of Saiyans, he just wants to kill Goku? Let me know down below. I'm quite interested to find out. Now, the question I want to bring to the topic is, what do you think Broly will look like? Do you think he'll look like the snippets we've seen from the production a while back? Or do you think he'll look entirely different? And we'll get confirmation in two weeks. That is a given. Two weeks time, there's going to be a new trailer. And hopefully we'll see more. And hopefully we'll get to see Broly. And see how they sort of incorporated Broly classic look to a new look to sort of and sort of tie into the super saiyan blue sort of stuff because super saiyan back then was the be all end all and as you know from the tournament of power berserker doesn't stand up to super saiyan god so be cool to find out how that all ties in but let me know your thoughts down below i said this is a discussion and my thoughts this isn't just me ranting and raving so let me know down below what you think and if you want to enter the competition for face rig where you get to be a cool looking dog while you do your streams which i think is kind of funny or recordings like this uh sub to my channel hit type in face rig down the bottom in the comment section and uh until next time everyone bye